New tonight, a Kentwood gym owner is explaining why he and several others have decided to file a lawsuit against Governor Whitmer. Fox 17's Marisa Oberly reports. This Kentwood gym is one of eight plaintiffs listed in that lawsuit. The owner tells us he feels like it's his responsibility to be a part of it, arguing that this is needed to not only save small businesses, but keep people healthy. The longer it lasts, the more obvious the effect is. Jason Berman owns Endurance Fitness Center in Kentwood, and like other gyms in Michigan, his is closed due to the stay at home order, but he hopes that will soon change. I realized that I had an obligation to do this. Furman is one of eight plaintiffs representing 165 gyms across Michigan that filed a lawsuit last Friday against Governor Whitmer and Robert Gordon, the Michigan Department of Health and Human Services director. Because what's happening to us um, as a, a business community and what's happening to us as the population of Michigan is wrong. The nine count complaint argues Whitmer's executive orders and Gordon's emergency order and rule that says violations of it will result in a misdemeanor interferes with the gym owners rights under the US Constitution and state law. And one of the things that it that it says is that the citizens of one state shall enjoy the rights of the citizens of the other states. And here all of our border states, the gyms are open. Scott Erskine is the attorney representing those fitness centers. He says they took this step after requests to meet with the governor went unanswered and the state failed to provide additional data behind their claim that people breathe harder in sweat in gyms, which is why they can't open. Erskine adds his clients agree gyms needed to be closed at the beginning of the pandemic, but now feel they should open because of the physical and mental health benefits exercise could provide, as well as the gym's abilities to properly follow safe guidelines. Starting to feel desperate because these are businesses that they've spent years building. There's no hearing date at this time, but Erskine says the defendant's attorneys accepted the lawsuit Tuesday and should move through within the next few weeks. A step that Furman is happy about. Why should one business be forced to be closed and another business be allowed to be open? And in that interview, Erskine said that dozens of other gyms will now join that lawsuit next Monday. We did reach out to the governor's office and director's office for an interview, but a spokesperson declined saying that they don't comment on pending litigation.